Bruce from Safari, we're going to do a small video here on the new Orion Smart uh, DC to DC, the vehicle DC to DC, to show you how to set it up. It's a bit different than most. And so we've got the Smart Gear, so the fantastic thing is you'll see your voltage coming out of the vehicle and the charge voltage. Uh, probably 125 amp hour lithium as the battery we're charging. And I've got a variable power supply here that I use for testing. And so right, look at the screen down here now, you'll see the voltage is 12.1. The screen says charge disabled due to input voltage lockout. And let's explain that. So let's go to settings up here. And firstly, we'll just look at the battery settings. So we've set absorption here at 14.6. That's the normal for good quality lithium, 13.8. Uh, I've got a bulk time in there of uh, 10 hours. So it'll really just pour it in. And you can have a re-bulk voltage offset here of 0.1. And now it can be turned into power supply and recover a dead battery. Just fantastic. Now we've got the input voltage lockout here, which is 12.2 and 12.5. So that means that if it detects a voltage less than 12.2 volts, it uh, locks this out and in no way will this the battery of the vehicle. So you have to work out what your normal ignition on voltage is without starting the alternator. And that voltage there needs to be a little bit less than that. And then the input voltage lockout turning off is when you first start it, you nominate a voltage there to go above it. I've got 12.5 in this case, that's the ignition on voltage. And then we've got the engine shutdown detection, which basically turns this on and off. And you see I've got it higher than the 12.5, and I've got it between 12.8 and uh, 13. So what this is detecting here is when the actual engine's running. And so let's now have a look at some results. So we're on input voltage lockout. I now wind this up a bit, you can see the voltage is going up, it'll start to go up, 12.2, 12.3, and it comes on at 12.5, 4, 5, 6, and so this will now 7, so now charge is disabled, the lockout's not valid, and now we start to wind up more, 12.8, and you see the output voltage here is coming on, it cut, flickers on, flickers off, uh, that's because this power supply can't get enough power. But in fact, what the software in here doing is detecting whether it's a smart alternator and putting a small amount of load on it and seeing what changes in the voltage to determine whether it actually turns on. It's very, very clever. And so that then will, we can keep winding the voltage up. And if I had enough power in my power supply, I'm at 14.2, 14.3 now, it would just come on and stay on all the time. So that top voltage is running with the alternator running and the bottom voltage for it to turn off is going to be the voltage after you start the car when the ignition first comes on is the voltage that you want with the alternator running not not ignition alternator running is going to be the voltage uh, that you set for the bottom part of the shutdown and the top part just make it um, 0.3 0.4 above that thank you